back. Do 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 take it back. situations and um, to be honest Adam got me in amazing physically and mentally for this fight so uh, yeah at least the majority of that was done yeah. so it's coming in it's your head man you're on the show it's more matter of a world title as well you're fighting for as well because you're in the ring you can't just try to look out of the crowd a bit you're just you're like soaking the whole thing out of it yeah, definitely. Um, with the nice my name, uh, I just stayed in the middle of the ring. I put my hands up and I closed my eyes. I just felt a wall of sound hit me, and it was incredible to know that that wall of sound was for me and it was from from the Belfast crowd. It is um, a bit surreal. So just what you imagined? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I have never experienced that before, and uh, it was incredible. You look very fresh in the close rounds. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I trained very, very hard for this, you know, I, um, we did it right from start to finish when it came to the training, and to be honest, I was fit as a fiddle, going into the 12th, I was thinking, was that? I wasn't breathing at all, so uh, yeah, we, we did it properly. Pardon? What thoughts were going through your head when you got that call in the second round? Uh, we, me and Adam talked about this, and it was that's the first time I've ever experienced that. But me and Adam's gone over this situation before, so when it happened, it was as if it, it's happened before. I knew exactly how to deal with it, and that's what I done. I didn't pay no attention to it whatsoever, even when the blood was in my eyes and I couldn't see. I, I, I it was as if I'd dealt with it before, because me and Adam's went over this situation. And um, to be honest, it didn't didn't phase me at all. Were you in any way surprised around just the difference that your speed made tonight in this fight that he just he couldn't handle the, the, the speed control? Um, well, we knew coming into this fight that my speed would give me uh, a bit of an advantage, and uh, that's that's something we worked on um, during camp was being being fast and being sharp for the field twelve rounds. You said you were going to be nasty. You were doing this fight. You showed us that. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I was a little bit nasty when I dropped him. Uh, I looked at Adam and Adam's head get on him. And that's when I let my hands go a little bit. But um, the whole fight, I was I was trying to keep it um, professional and calm the, the whole fight. Were you frustrated or irritated at all when the, the bell seemed to come when you had the trouble balls on you? Um, no, I wasn't wasn't frustrated. I mean, I, I just... I just did exactly what I had to do it was focus on on the job at hand. It wasn't it was fo focused on the next moment, not the moment that the, that had just gone. Can you sum up Ryan just what it means to join the greats of Irish boxing by now become more champion? It's um it's it's something special. I'm in a I'm in a position now where I can go on and and give my, my myself and my family a good life if uh, 
win, sorry, that I keep doing what I'm doing. I'm in a great position to, to give myself and my family a great life, and at the end of the day, that's that's what it's all about. Ryan, you told us how you felt when you made the worst split decision, but can you tell us how you felt when you found out it was just a case of mistaken identity? Uh, I was, I was, to be honest, honestly, things like that shouldn't be happening, especially at one level, but it did, and it, it is what it is. Would it bother you if that record always reads split decision? Pardon? Would it bother you if that record always reads split decision? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you wouldn't answer it before, but you would answer it after. How proud are you for this performance? And is it one of your proudest nights? No. I mean, how, how could I be more proud of that? Nothing I've done before tops this. You know, I, I mean, with Andy Lee, there was an incredible win. So I've, had, I've been fortunate enough to have three world champions now. Two of them are on the mind. Um, the special thing about this one is that he's only had you know, 16 months going into this. 16. Um, the growth that he's had mentally, having not had the fights, mm. to actually give him that, just shows his absolute belief and conviction in what he does. And it's a little bit scary for me now because it makes me realise just how good he could be. Because he's probably 60% at the moment of where he's going to win that. When you say that, I don't know how good he can be. Can you give us a comparison to the sort of level fighter you're thinking? No, I want him. I want him to be able to do everything. I want him to, have to be a sharpshooter, an inside fighter, southpaw, orthodox, pressure, counter puncher. He does it all in the gym, he, uh, with good fighters in the gym. So it's just a question of proving to himself over and over again that he can do it under the spotlights and that he's got the ability to adapt to whatever's in front of him to keep control of the fights and I thought he did that magnificently tonight because Lee Haskins is not an easy fellow to out trick and out box and that's exactly what he did this whole round. So when you say that he's at sixty percent, if he reaches sixty <coughs> percent does he surpass half well, he's world champion at sixty percent so I, I I don't know. I don't know. I haven't had a world champion after only sixteen pro fights who's performed like that. Um, and so, you know, a nice rest and then we can get back to it and just see how far he can go. Um, I want to say uh, immense respect to the referee because he could have easily blown that fight by panicking. A lot of referees would. Could have stopped it. Maybe should have stopped it. You, don't have, you never know. I said to Ryan after the second round, this fight's not going 12 rounds. You're both cut too badly. Win every moment of the next two rounds because it's going to go to a technical decision. That's what I said to him. He then got his nose in front and the referee did, did, did an immaculate job. Absolutely immaculate job. Um, and allowed Ryan to do what he wanted to do, and that is prove that he is a genuine world champion, having won it over 12 rounds and not a four round technical decision, which would have put a bit of a damper on the incredible atmosphere of the crowd. Just to clarify, when you say this is better than any of your achievements, you include everything with hate in that? 16 pro fights <laughs> from British champion. I mean, that's, that's special, you know. I mean, Everything with David Hay, cruise weight, heavyweight, Andy Lee at middleweight, it's all special, but there is something about what Ryan has achieved. I'm pretty sure I will never see that again with a fighter after only 16 pro fights. Ryan, can I ask how that makes you feel here and there? Um, to be honest, I just, I just take it in my stride. Adam said very good things about me before, and to hear these things coming from from a guy that's been in the game for so long and he's seen so much, I can only take uh, positivity from it. Ryan's well, probably a hard question to answer right now, but uh, would you feel like the up for out in October or November is kind of the time frame the soft uh, To be time honest, time. I'm not thinking about that. I just um, I haven't been home in two and a half months. So I just want to go home to my family and to be honest, not think about boxing. <laughs> Are you talking about the unification fight next? This is another step. So, when you're excited, is that great? Sounds good. No pressure, but I said before you were here that was a fight that when you become champion, one you liked, you sparred many rounds with him, and uh, potentially a fight that you thought might even be easier than the Lee Haskins fight. 
Yeah, look, it, it is what it is. We're in a great position now. We um, we can make uh, we can make these good fights, and it's all there for me. I, I've just turned twenty five. I turned twenty five two weeks ago. I've still got so much to learn, and I'm, I'm in a I'm in a great position. So we, we've got time on our hands to make the right decisions. And that's it. After sixteen pro fights, he was given an opportunity to do what he did tonight because of Eddie. He doesn't make hollow promises. Um, there are a lot of promoters in world boxing that make promises all day long. I've seen it, I've experienced it. It becomes frustrating, demoralizing, it spoils fighters' careers. Um, and you know, I don't normally praise promoters because you've got to keep them on their damn toes, right? <laughs> but as much as Ryan is a world champion, as a young fighter, it's because of the job that Eddie's done as well. So. He deserves the credit for this just as well as Ryan does. Yeah. That's a bit emotional. So I was wondering when the decision was made. I was in a heck of a career those four years as a boxer. Before that, there was issues as well. Um, just how satisfying is it to have this belt come in? All that work. Um, to be honest, I think I'll need to go in the go in the room, a quiet room, and just sit and think to myself. It hasn't hasn't soaked in yet. But uh, this is this is a lifetime's. A lifetime achievement, and I've worked so hard for this. Even when things were going really bad for me, I always told myself that things are going to be okay. Just keep going, and one day you'll get there. And thank God, uh, I've done it. I'm here. I've, I'm, I'm world champion. That's I don't know what else to say. You miss out on birthday cake. Well, I see Carlo will talk about how he loves Pablo. What's your going to be your dessert choice tomorrow? Well, as soon as I walk out of this, I'm going to ring Domino, Domino's and tell him to give me a pizza. <laughs> 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 I'm waiting for the hotel. <laughs> Adam, you said before the fight that you had a plan and did you stick to that plan? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, better than I thought you would have done. Um, and then the end of the cut. Um, if you watch the fight, you'll see that when these little moments were happening, when there were cuts and the referee would say something, my head would go, and as soon as they broke away, <coughs> his level of concentration would go up. And I think that really got to Haskins because nothing unsettled him tonight, absolutely nothing. To the point where I, I was that confident after the second round that I could say to him, this fight's not coming 12 rounds, just win every second. I don't normally say things like that to my fighters. In the 11th round, I think it was, he dropped, dropped Haskin in the 11th. Mm -hmm. I had never waved a fighter on before. I always say, keep it clean. See, see the target, even when you got hurt, pick it clean. And I found myself waving him on, and another 10 seconds, probably would have finished it in the 11th because it was just all about there. And that assault in the 11th round was very impressive and that's something as well that could probably evolve as his career evolved. Adam, can you tell us a bit about what you'd like to see from Ryan here after, like in terms of his career, not about reaching his potential, but a sort of fight you want to see? Do you want to unify the division, etc.? So, um, I, I, I'm, I'm uh, fascinated to, about this support in Belfast and whichever division, whatever belt, I think with the way that he fights and the support from his city, the other things would just become formalities, and they're the formalities that Eddie Walker has put in front of us. But I think now, it's, I think Belfast deserves to celebrate this and enjoy some some high grade world championship fights. And we're talking what two, three times a year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Ryan's thinking more like one of them. I've had him in the he wants to meet back in July. July so. would have been nice. We wanted to go the week before Frampton. <laughs> <laughs> and outdoors, we would have gone outdoors. <laughs> now, thanks for all your support, guys, as well as, the, as well as the fans. The media here are always top draw. And, uh, it's nice to open the papers on fight week and see double pages and full pages. And thank you very much for your support as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.